So we are standing in the original Coney Island, um, which was started in 1921 by some Greek immigrants from New York City. The Coney Island up until May was the longest existing restaurant in Duluth. What's the future hold for the space we're in? So this is going to be Martha's Daughter, and we're re working really hard to have connections with local farmers, trying to create a menu and an environment where we're really supporting our community. I think most people think that it's like the craziest thing you could do is open a restaurant and go into the food industry, you know? But having so much support along the way from the community and having people asking me constantly, when are you going to open, definitely is way more reassuring. Basically, I grew up in a small town in Massachusetts and smaller than Duluth, probably like a quarter of the size of Duluth. And so it's somewhere where everyone knows everyone. And so while my parents were very prevalent in the community when I was a child, I was often referred to just as Martha's daughter. I mean, Unica, but also Martha's daughter. And so when it came to naming the restaurant, it just seemed appropriate. So for me, it's a space where you come and you hang out and you have good food and drinks so that it's casual, but you're going to have really good service, and you're going to be taken care of, and it's like a place to have fun. I would describe it as a new American restaurant, and there's definitely a heavy um, Asian fusion, um, but it's also pulling on roots of like family recipes with the chicken curry and American, like old-fashioned American food with like chicken and waffles as an example. And Nunika's history is like she was the sous chef at Mission Chinese, um, and so we definitely have a lot of influence from her time there as far as like conceptually and plus there's the pop-up was like her background in Duluth and so like I have a affection for like the corn cake and the tacos and the chicken and waffles and ramen were all like pop-up staples that people loved before we had brick and mortar. It is definitely not sunk in yet that I have opened a restaurant. Like I'm happy that we're in the stage of running a restaurant versus construction because for sure I've done this before. Um, and I think I have to remind myself that I've done this kind of opening of a restaurant process before because it is so chaotic and there's so much kind of one day, it just changes every day because you're just trying to figure out the best way for this place to run. You know, even though it's pretty new, it's like a family. Partly because we have a really awesome crew and partly because we have a leader who takes an interest in forming a community and cares about her impact on this community and then in addition to that has a really strong like ethic about how we do food, where it's sourced, what it looks like, what it tastes like is all like very unambiguously her style. So when you look around is this what you imagined? This space has been in my head for a really long time but for sure it is. It is better than I had imagined it to be, so it's cool. She's like creating art and concepts and then putting them out in the world, and it's like an emotional and stressful thing, but also when it, when it goes well, it's beautiful. What does success look like in this setting? For me, I just want to make sure that my staff is happy and that the people that come through the door are happy. So if those two things are concurrent, then I think this is a successful business. If you sleep at night and have a day off, where does that That'll be ultra successful. <laughs> <laughs> but if we turn a profit and I have a couple nights of sleep, yeah, then we'll be like in success mode for sure. I think definitely it just takes a lot of courage and a little bit of insanity and knowing that you're going to have to wear a lot of different hats and probably not get a lot of sleep for a while, but that it's something that you love. I think that's the most important part. Like, I wouldn't want to give this much energy of myself to anything but something like this.